Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Rustic Waters 2. Um, can't remember which episode this is, to be honest, because um, recently I had a lot of problems with uh, recording and audio and um, the realisation that uh, some of the USB ports on my computer were failing, which is why um, the audio was being silly. So that's all sorted now. Um, it should be should be working as normal. I mean, obviously, I won't know until I've edited the ve the vehicle, the video. But um, te test recordings that I've done, they seem to be fine. So um, yeah, I can't remember now what went out and what didn't go out. Um, basically, let's see. I finished off down, well, kind of finished off downstairs. So this is all now like this. I have crops growing in my um, uh, mystical agriculture area. I have this set up. I'll show you how this works in a second. Um, let me see what, this is also joined to the network upstairs. So you can see what I have. Um, is there any seeds that I need? Okay, I don't. Hopefully, my um, my keyboard doesn't pick up because I got a new keyboard as well. And um, so if you hear it clicking, let me know. Plat netherite seeds. Do I need netherite seeds? That's with a skeleton. But I need a soul jar with with skellies in it. Um, diamond seeds. It's probably a good thing to make. Okay, right. So I need diamond and supremium and prosperity seed base. Okay. Well, I've got prosperity seed base. I was making loads of those. Um, supremium. Do I have any supremium? I need four of those. You know, the other day I discovered I could actually type in that bit. I feel a bit foolish because <laughs> I didn't realize you could do that. But um, I got two master infusion crystals. After I'd gone and made one, I actually got some in loot crates. So that was good. Okay, where are we? Are you working? Oh, yes, it's working its way through. Yep, so it's because I mean it it's really time consuming. I should have looked to see how many you actually needed to make those two. But it was it's a lot. Okay, so that's making its way through. There you go. Did I say two? I need four. Darn. Missing an infusion crystal. Really? There's two in there. So where did it go? It didn't use them up because it has unlimited uses. That's interesting. Yeah, there you go. That's very interesting. Okay, let's try that again. So, uh, the premium. Oh, it made the two. Oh, oh, it was doing, oh, okay. That makes sense. It was actually doing it. Okay, right. Um, What do I need, diamonds? And we need four of those. All right, so we've got our seed base. We have our crystals. Put the seed base in the mid, put the seed base in the middle. You put your stuff around. It's a shapeless recipe, so it doesn't matter where it goes. Um, you have to have a redstone signal. Some people have a block of redstone underneath just to make it, you know, so it's always on. I just put a lever next to it. And then we have our diamond seeds. Now, all of the, um, oh, I got with the roses as well in a loot crate. I was quite happy about that. Um, I have Supremium Farmland, which is the best farmland to use. 
Um, you can buy a four or six from uh, from the trader. And most things will grow in that. There's some things that don't. I don't know why. Um, there was luminite seeds. Don't seem to growing anything. You can make them, but you can't grow them. Because I tried in dirt. Actually, the only thing I didn't try was calf stone. I could try that, actually. Now that I'm here talking to you guys, let me see. Uh, did I, what did I do? With, oh, there you go. Luminite seeds. They're tier three and calf stone. Because you get, you know, you get them there. I don't know. There's no calf stone dirt, right? Not that I can see. No, it's not even going to go there. So that's not it. For some reason, it just you can make it but it won't grow which is a bit bizarre i don't know right so there is that what else did i do um finished off out here with the animals and stuff I have a golem. I'm not quite sure how. I thought you needed five villagers for a golem. I've got four villagers, but I've got a golem, which is fine. Um, I finished this. Why are you not? Oh no, it's the babies it brings across, not the adults. Have you animal feeder? It's run out. Okay, let's get some corn. Um, let me see. Need the terminal. Out of range. I'm not quite sure how to keep it in range because I've got the... um. One of you guys might be able to tell me. Go behind here. I put these in because I realise that I couldn't get behind here. So I just put um, ethereal glass, which you can pass through in the glass here. So they act as doors and it's got, it, it's got wireless stuff, you know, it's got the wireless booster in here, but then if I look at my, my, um, my system and I type in wireless booster, It will show me that there's five in there. So I would look at that thinking, oh, I've got five. But then when I take it out, it takes it out from here. It's a bit bizarre. I've never seen anything like that. But um, but yeah, maybe somebody can let me know what I'm doing, if I'm doing it right or wrong, because that just seems a bit weird. Right, what are we doing? We're wheat. Okay, that should be more than enough. Oh, you know what? I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even have to come in here now that I think about it. There you go. Make lots of babies. Let the babies get sucked into the next section. And then we have... We have um, a little slaughter area here. I have um, two fans. I might have to put some fans on that side as well to push the cows over because I find they all congregate on that side and then um, they don't come over. And then I found that they would also come through here and then stay here. So I put the fans in to push them into the slaughter area. Okay. So yes, I think what I might do is put a fan, maybe, to push the adults over in this section. But I mean, it's not... 
I also need to check this. Okay, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. We're getting lots of essence. And, oh yes, and the last thing. Uh, thanks to Yorkshire Panda, he noticed, or he said in one of his videos, and if you're not watching his videos, please go and check him out. He's, he's you know, he's a good guy, got loads of really good ideas, and he knows a lot. Um, he was saying that the fractionating still, if you put crude oil into it, it would um, put out rocket fuel, which I'm going to need at a later date. And it also makes bitumen. So I've been making bitumen. I have a hydroponic bed here. That was one of the things I made in between episodes. And um, you only need a small amount of ether gas. And it will produce um, corn. Well, I've got corn planted here, but it will it will produce stuff. I've got ether because this um, this ether gas I got from an end island. You can find um, little pockets of it. But you need loads of ether gas. You can get ether gas from Atum as well. So at some point in the near future, we will be going there. So I've been producing um, corn and bitumen. And they're both going into this machine to keep creating ethanol. The ethanol's going into the turbines. I've upgraded all of the turbines there's 10 turbines which is the most it can get to t5 which is the highest i have four fuel tanks i plan to add more um i think fuel capacitors as well i can add more so you know i'm trying to upgrade it as i go along which is fine i might add some more flux generators i think i might need more i'm not sure um Oh, this is going down now. Okay, we might have to find another... Um... Yeah, we might need to find another crew. Well, hopefully by the time we finish with this, we would have moved on to another fuel source. I don't know. We'll see. So, yeah, that was basically... Yeah, that was basically all that I did in between episodes while I was waiting to um to fix up my machine. So that was it. And I also went dungeoneering as well because I, <laughs> I was bored and I needed a break. So, um, oh yes, I also have these portable cells. I got these as loot rewards and stuff. And I wasn't quite sure what you did with them. But you use them really as backpacks. So, you know, I went and renamed them. But this one I didn't rename, but I've got 264. And then this is supposed to be my main storage. Supposed to be secondary storage. And um, you can use them for backpacks. So I have that to fill up my stuff with as well. So when I go out in dungeoneering, you know, I can... Um, I've got loads of space. Um, I made a flux bore at one point. Just trying to think was there anything else i don't think there was anything else that i did i think that was basically it okay so on to today's episode um i finished off i think i mentioned i finished that off a couple of um a couple of episodes back i uh, high mechology, we need. Oh, we got the induction port. That's the big battery. I'll have to look into that. This is um, teleportation. I will look into that. And then all of this stuff, I think, is more. We need to go a bit further before we do that. Because. Yeah. I'm not going to do... Do I need to do that yet, though? I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Mystical foregoing. I finished that. Because I'd finished the mystical agriculture... The industrial foregoing side. 
and then I just went ahead and made these. I'm not really going to use that to make mob seeds, but you know, it's there. Um, but I wanted to start Woot because I was going to, and then I had to stop because I needed to make plastic and so on. So um, that's what I'm going to get into today. Returning to space. Jump gate programmer. E. Okay. Okay. Right, let's get into Woot. Let's see what we can do. Well, I have the, four, the 64 nether wart, and you get the Woot guide for that. Then we have to make Stygian iron ingots, which is Stygian blend, which is nether wart, iron dust, and obsidian dust or obsidian shards. We, yes, we are downstairs. Okay. Um, what are we supposed to be making? Stygian... Stygian iron. Let's just type at Woot and see what comes up. All right, so we have quite a lot of perks, which is good. The Kanata cell we need because that's some kind of fluid that it makes. I don't know very much about Woot. I did make, I did play with it once, a couple of iterations back. I think in one point twelve, and I seem to remember you just had you had a, f a huge. You needed a huge area to make this machine because it would just um all we're missing is iron dust really okay but you needed a huge machine a huge space because this machine would just take up load the the, the more you went up the um the more space it would take so i never really the iron okay i never really got into it but I understand now it's a smaller, it doesn't use up as much space and it's changed a lot. So, um, so yeah, I'll be excited to, to actually use it. Uh, iron would help if I could spell. I oh, know. Don't know how had that happen. Iron dust. Enriched iron, no. Iron dust. The iron ingot in a crusher. Is that the only way you can make iron dust? You can't make it in a pulverizer? Okay, let's have a look. You should be able to get iron dust in the pulverizer. Uh, redstone furnace, pulverizer. Um, missing what? Why is that missing a channel? Oh, it's probably. Be I don't know why that's missing a channel. Um, what were we checking? Dust, iron dust. Yeah, that does work. I don't know why that recipe didn't show up. All right, uh, processing, iron dust. Well, that's just mechanism iron dust though. Okay. Which one was it? It'd have to be thermal. This is thermal, okay. Because then I'll have to put a crusher up there. All right, let's see if thermal works. Um, S T Y. Yes, thermal does work. Okay, right. All right, so iron dust. So we need thermal iron dust and we need an iron ingot. 
which can be that. Um, oh yeah. And then if we do Stygian blend, Um, that, that is not processing, that is this, and we want substi substitutions, okay. Okay, so there's for the Stygian blend, that's for the iron dust, and... Right, so, I've lost myself now. <laughs> How much do we need? We want 64, okay. Right, so we want craft. Sixty-four. Okay, I'll have to make a pattern for obsidian shard as well. Okay. Obsidian shard. All right, so the obsidian shard is that. You know, I like make I like trying to work out altar crafting recipes. Doesn't always mean that, you know, I get it, but there you go. Right, that's that. And we need um stygian. Right, we want sixty four. Okay, that is everything and start. All right, why is it? Okay, it's the dust it's thinging up on. Okay. Do we have any components? We have one hardened component. I don't know if the pulverizer ha has any components in it. Course it's not working. Why aren't you working? Why aren't you working? Scheduled. Okay, what's the hang up? Or did I put it in the wrong place? I might have put it in the wrong place. Yeah. There you go. All right, so ah <laughs> I put it in the wrong place. Don't tell anybody. Uh let's put some uh no. Okay, uh Stygian. Right, that's going slowly. I'll be back in a second. And actually, no, is there anything else we can do while we're waiting? No, because I think all of these need... Yeah, all of... Yes, I could. I didn't do it because I needed this and I got this as a uh, a reward for something. I can't remember what. But while we're waiting, we could look in the, in the Woot. But why is it called Woot anyway? Uh, magic multi-block mob factory. Like Marmite, you either love it or hate it. Oh, I don't like the Marmite um, comparison because I really hate Marmite. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, Marmite is a, it's a spread. It's um, is it vegetable based. No, that's Vegemite. That's Australian. Marmite, I think, is um, a beef based spread. And it's one of those things you either love it or you hate it. It's got a very strong taste. 
And for me, it's quite an acquired taste. There's some people who love it, but I'm not a huge fan. Okay, so Woot is for I want all the mob drops. Traditional. Da, da, da. Woot gives you a mob farm slash factory without generating all those messy entities and hopefully taking a, a load off your server. It's also for lazy people like me who don't like building mob farms. Sounds like my kind of thing. Okay. Okay, so you use in turn on the factory heart to auto build. Battery needs Conatis fluid to run, but no power. Well, that's good. Some mobs need ingredients to generate loot. The intern can validate your factory structure. Place chests beside the loot exporter. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, but loot as in, yeah, mob drops, I'm guessing. The factory tiers. So each factory requires the following one heart, one primary base, one canata cell, one ingredient importer and one loot exporter. Okay. All right, it's, it's, it's interesting. Like I said, the last time I played with Woot, it was, you know, it was a while back. Cheaper ingots. What is cheaper ingots? Craft Stygian Dust, okay. Right, what's the next thing we need to do? Oh, we need the ingots. Oh, darn it. And you're still running. Oh, I got um a Supremium. Supremium Furnace. And boy, that thing is fast. It is really, really, really fast. So um, I've got it set up because it doesn't auto export like the iron furnaces. So I've just got it set up with um, pipes and so on. And it, it works quite well. As you can see, it's it's coming in pretty fast. It's a lot faster than the um the mechanism one. Okay, there's all our ingots. And we get a basic canatus cell. Or we have one of those anyway. Alright, so there's the yar hammer or the intern. Okay, so this gives us the perk slots. And this goes to actually building the factory. Okay. Oh. All right. Well, let's do this line. And then in the next episode, we can go on to building the factory. Okay. So, uh, the intern. To make the intern, you need Stygian ingot. Okay. Okay, we have that. We have the yar hammer. Uh, where is? Oh, there it is. Yet another hammer. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know the feeling. Uh, we get dies for that. And we get a heart crystal. Are we full? Oh, we are full. Um, we want the heart crystal. Anything else we can get rid of that? All right. Let's eat that. I've got yet another heart, which is good. Uh, mob shard. Okay, so we got a mob shard. 
Elder Guardian, nice. Okay. And a layout guide. Okay, excellent. I'm not building that by hand. <laughs> craft the layout guide see the factory layouts okay right so we have those we get more dies um that reminds me i got into mystical agriculture so that i can make um dye seeds so we have lots of dye essence so we can i'll have to remember to make patterns so that i can make all the different dyes that was, you know, that's just a note to self. So you guys remind me that I need to do that. Okay. All right. Place the heart block directly beneath your layout guide block as shown in the projection. You need a heart and a primary brace. Every Woot factory requires the following box. A heart, a primary brace, a canatus cell, ingredient importer, and loot exporter. Okay. So, and what does that give you? turtle hmm. okay so we need a heart and a primary base uh, that's it there i was just about to say we don't have any heads but we do Digian iron plate and an engineer's hammer do i not have an engineer's hammer I do. Okay. Um is a heart. Nope. machine casing and oh it's a good thing i made all those wither skeleton skulls so um because i had lots of wither skeleton fragments and i was like oh got those and i just decided to make them into skulls pink dye plate and a magenta dye plate okay what was the, the something about placement Was it placement? No. <laughs> um, that will teach me not to read. Primary base. Where did I get placement from? That will teach me not to read. Okay, pink dye plate. Uh, where is... Oh, my days. Right, shove you in there. Actually, let me take that out because I'll probably need it. Okay, primary base. Right, magenta dye plate and a pink dye plate and a primary base. There you go. You get another mob shard. Battery connector. Okay. Amaranth block. And battery connector. All right, so you want two of each. Two factory connectors, two amorous blocks, factory connectors, secondary bay.
amber block, any kind of block. Okay. Um, all right, let me make these and then I will be back. Just finished making the two factory connectors and the two perk slots. Yeah, um. Oh, I need two amaranth blocks. Okay. And I've got a basic can to sell from before. Uh, click for Woot Factory Block Requirements. Okay. Two amaranth block, two factory connectors, one perk slot, mob 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 controller. Uh, perk slots, something as well. Rabbit. Uh, basalts. Oh, excellent. Okay. Lil? Oh. Okay, let's see if I can make sense of what we need. So, in addition to the base blocks listed in the previous quest, which was the heart and the primary base, you also need specific blocks pertaining to whatever tier of the factory you're building. This quest reward will take you to an image of the quad blocks for each tier. You can also view this information by changing the tier projected by your layout block and shift plus looking at it with your intern in hand. The tier specific blocks needed for your tier one factory are two amaranth blocks, two factory connectors, a perk slot on a mob controller. Okay, two factory connectors, a heart, a primary base, two amaranth blocks, two perk slots, all right, and a factory controller. Okay, so there's factory connector. What's a factory controller? Mob controller, okay. Oh, we need to make the Stygian anvil. And the prism, the Stygian iron plate, and a mob shard. Ah. So the mob shard has to be, okay, so we need to make the prism. Okay. How do you make any of the laser lenses? Orange, magenta, light blue, yellow, lime, pink. I just want a normal laser lens. Are you not going to cycle through to normal? No. Okay, so we have white, or is white the normal one? The solution chamber. Okay, white is your normal one. Okay, this is going to be a, 
All right, let's just use the layout block. You put it down here or upstairs? I think it does need power, so it can come down here. Um, layout guide. No tool. Um, and you need your intern. Nope, I Vane, don't want Vane. No. See, that's why <laughs> that's why I wanted slow. I don't think there's gonna be enough from under here I think we might have to go upstairs okay I guess it's safe to say I don't know what I'm doing and I need to make the other bits. Kind of hoping we could have gotten something showing at least. But yeah, it's looking like we're going to have to make. Yeah, I'm going to have to finish everything. And then. And then set it up. OK, so between episodes, I'm going to finish all of these. And then we can set up our boot factory. Okay, so in the next episode, we can spend the time messing around with it and see what we can get with it. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.